Hello and welcome. The most dominant uh, question these days is about the impact of automation on companies, uh, both IT and non-IT. And we have with us uh, Atticus Tyson, a CIO at Intuit. Uh, Atticus, uh, uh, pivoting on your talk, uh, Innovate or Die, what advice would you give companies, both uh, IT and non-IT, on uh, how they should be dealing with automation? Because most seem to be afraid uh, of this term called automation. Uh, what advice would you give them? Well, I think, uh, you know, as with anything, you have to always be innovating and improving and learning. And so I think the best advice I would give to any company or any employee is to continue evolving your skills, moving up the value chain, uh, educating, uh, and improving what you do. Yeah. And uh, uh, one question uh, this time also which has been dominant is about the impact of automation on jobs. Now, how do you uh, see this breakup happening between the low-skilled and the high-skilled? Uh, automation seems to be first impacting the low-skilled jobs. Uh, you know, what, what uh, do you think that's a real fear? You know, I think it's been happening ever since the beginning of time. Uh, jobs have been impacted by technology and changed. And, you know, if you think about automation impacting even white collar jobs as uh, AI and ML comes in. So I think automation impacts everything. And I think it's important for everybody to continue uh, investing in their skill set and growing. Yeah. And, and what's the impact on the C-level executives? Uh, you know, do you think that with more younger people coming in who probably are more in tune with digital and uh, uh, in, in how they should be doing this, uh, do you think that there is a real fear that those on the top as well uh, who probably are not in tune with this will be moving out and there'll be a younger generation who will be taking over? Yeah, I think again, since the beginning of time, the younger generation has always been coming. Uh, I think right now the current C-suite executives are, are you know, the same as any in the past. Uh, they're always making sure they're investing in their own skills. And I think you know, if you're in the C-suite today, you need to get familiar with technology and continue and, and you know, uh, go out there and observe what people are using and learn it yourself. Right, you're spending about two weeks here in India. Uh, uh, what, what is it that you're going to tell your colleagues back at Silicon Valley? What is it that Indian IT is doing right, uh, probably, that, you know, that others can probably learn from them? One of the things I've been most impressed by is the NASCOM conference. Uh, there's the caliber of people who are here in the Indian IT industry. Uh, and what I've been most uh, pleasantly surprised by is how vibrant uh, and evolving the industry is here in India. Uh, so what I can tell my colleagues in the U.S. is the, the thought leadership here in India is alive and well, and I'm looking forward to continue working. And this uh, whole uh, current debate about uh, you know, Trump and the visa restrictions and all of that, uh, do you, I mean, what's the kind of conversation that you hear there, uh, you know, also among the Indian community that exists there and also other, others as well? Yeah, I, I think uh, it's incumbent upon any company to continue to uh, work with uh, existing governments uh, and to work within the law framework that we have uh, and to continue to uh, work with in that framework uh, to drive the right outcomes. And so I, I think, you know, while there's turmoil today, we're doing our best to uh, understand uh, the best way to proceed uh, and work with everybody. Yeah. Atticus, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you. Thank you.